All right, welcome, Collector. Let's continue this tarathon. When I was driving from, um, you know, I try to drive not every day, but four times a week um, to um, training. Well, it was three, it's up to four. Uh, if you see me with my same pajamas on, um, I have a washing machine. I'm, I'm gonna wear them. I don't care about shit, shit like that. I do have clothes. I don't care. But at the end of the day, um, I want to thank all my um, um, old supporters. I appreciate you. Everybody leaves a comment and a new subscribers. Thank you. But um, this, I have five downloads for Tarathon today, uh, July 17th. And so now the next one is their past was under judgment. They just fall asleep. And it was sketchy. This woman's past, man's past was sketchy, but they've changed and they love you. Now I'm channeling. Channeling is as a conduit for the spiritual world. So let me channel this real quick. I don't know if they changed that much, but they're not what they used to be, right? So if they were promiscuous or in gangs or getting shot or talking aggressive or need to control their low coat and you know they have all these um issues or on some addictions or they were very verbally aggressive or you know mean-spirited or argumentative or very debatable or uh, uh, very competitive or incarcerated or had a at needed an attitude adjustment or very smothering um lack low self-esteem very needy it doesn't have to be you know negative to those points you know what i'm saying um you know but it says sketchy so i'm, I'm kind of drawing the sketchy so this man or woman um they could have been or they could have been talked about people could call them crazy so you have to decide on who this man or woman this could be your ex-husband your ex-wife your boyfriend or girlfriend significant other friends with benefits um situationships entanglements common law um you know um in the dm long distance relationship you know there's, there's it's, it's too many i can't keep up um a crush somebody that's in your heart but somebody wants you to know and it could be you you could just be looking in and you go that was me um, but it was under a lot of scrutiny and a lot of uh, uh, judgments, um, examining really closely, scrutiny, um, and they've changed. They said so they first want to know they changed and they love you, right? But I do feel like there's some residue. So let's see, what do you want them to know? We're looking for the whys. Your past was under judgment and it was sketchy, but you changed because you love you love them. So what do you want them to know? So your past was under judgment. What does this mean? Nice of Cups. Nice of Cups is my favorite car. <laughs> that shit is hilarious. And they love you. Nice of Cups is a prodigal child. He or she did everything they was big and bad enough to do. Drugs, alcohol, orgy, sex, fighting, cussing, got two or three women, boyfriends, husbands, girlfriends, none of that. Traveled the world, leaving people behind, selfish, self-centered, gaslighting, narcissistic, um, dreamy, idealistic, whatever you could think. Oh, I can't eat pork. I'm going to eat pork. I don't eat meat. I'm going to eat meat or I'm a vegan, I'm going to do the vegan, I'm going to be a Muslim, I'm going to be a Christian, I'm going to be a tarot card um, um, reader, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, somewhere somebody was hurt. Or I'm going to leave my kids, or I'm going to take care of my kids, or I'm going to get a divorce, or I'm going to get a separate. Just think of a prodigal child. So whatever in your environment is, and this is what you don't do, this is what this person is big and bad enough to do. Very rebellious, if, if, if that's the type of person. And so this person wants you to know that they don't have this great past that you think that they're going to have because it was sketchy promiscuous or maybe they could be virgins you know what i'm saying um i don't see how a virgin could be um, um um sketchy unless they catfish people or unless they or unless they tease so make sure to cover that that's that, 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 that that's funny or they pretend to be a virgin and it was the biggest freakazoid uh and freaks come out at night they come out in the daytime too um you know what i mean somebody could have been verbally aggressive physically mentally spiritually um abusive only take what resonates could be one thing you know what i'm saying somebody could have been there was something about this man or woman is sketchy and they, i feel like they feel like you're going to find out or you found out or they want to reveal something to you but they want you to know i love you we can end this because this is going to be quick because this is i'm bringing you the cup of chalice the cup of love the cup of emotion maybe they weren't emotionally um um sound you know maybe they wanted to control everybody a cult like um type they got to have people um you know tell them you know they have to tell people what to do and and people have to kiss their ass or maybe they were very aggressive maybe they were mean-spirited there's something sketchy about this man or woman very selfish self-centered um um you know um, my way or the highway or just me the way they talk or they could be very harsh they could be very cunning slick betrayal like because we're talking sketchy you know they could have already had a husband a wife a boyfriend a girlfriend significant other they could have told you they didn't do something and they did they could just say it to to be around you they could be very much not who you think they are so say you try, come off as spiritual they could act 
spiritual or Muslim or you know or Christian, and they're nothing like that. They could be hell raisers. They probably ain't even ever read the Quran or the Bible. Uh, you get what I'm saying? So it's something. It's something. You know. So if something that you might feel is sketchy, because you know, it, 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 like I said, I'm not a magician. It's just you have to use your imagination. I'm just giving examples. But this person has a past. And it's sketchy. So if you're a person like, you, so I always use me. I use me for examples because I people are so politically correct. Why do you say that? So I just use me, right? So if I like a man and I go, you know, my daughters are in their 30s. So at the end of the day, um, you know what I'm saying? I don't uh, I don't want a man to date um, women in their 30s. And so say I meet a man in the gym. He go, I don't. You know, I'm, I'm getting ready to be 50. I'm getting ready to be 55. I'm 60. And, you know what I'm saying? And he, everybody he dates is 30. You get what I'm saying? So that's a lie. And that's, a, that's something that I don't do because I feel like you know you get around my daughters and my daughters ain't like that they're not grinding me but then I might feel some kind of way I'm not gonna feel that he wants my daughters but I, I, I might feel like you know what I'm saying if he had a choice for a younger woman and that's what he wanted and kudos right hey you know young men all races hit on me I get it but I'm just saying but that was my that that was something how I looked at it so I'm just giving you an example and maybe sketchy maybe this woman you know the same way she was a cougar and you know you're a man or you're a woman you got you know because lgbtq everybody's welcome cyclops alien whatever and you know she's dating um people your son's age or daughter's age let's do alcohol or drugs maybe you know what i mean or make you know maybe something there's some okay you know it's the same example so there's something sketchy about this person maybe you go i don't you know i'm not talking about incarcerated or in jail or you know or a woman who ain't really got nothing and they're trying to act like they got the bag and they really do that got the bag or something like that something is sketchy about this person or uh, okay i hear them say the body count shit right you know how many body counts do you have how many body count you know you sit, you're sitting on 10 you know what i mean um um, um, you know, but you really got like 30 or 40 or 50, something like that, or a man or whatever. So there's something sketchy, but at the end of the day, this is a reconciliation card, and we are doing a reading. I need to make that clear for my new people. Only take about 10%, but it's still a reading. Even when I'm on Twitter and I'm channeling no cards, it's still coming from a somewhere supernatural, right? It's only take what resonates, right? You can find me on Twitter, and I'm, I don't hide. You know my son's name. We all got the same last name. Keep it. Keep, let's keep it real. But at the end of the day, this person wants to come back to you because they love you, but they got they got they got something heavy. They got some heavy secrets that they need to talk to you about. There's something in their past that they were under heavy judgment. And that's what it says. This person um past was under judgment so that means and it was sketchy but they changed so say this person was in the gang or he or she or she you know she beat men or beat women or maybe they were living a bisexual lifestyle or down low or maybe they're um maybe let's just do um people who are part of lgbtq this person what desires they say that they're part of that but they really are straight <laughs> you know what I, mean? I, like, I like to switch it up you know what i'm saying you know what i mean he's saying he's gay but you know he's desiring a woman like there's something sketchy um, and this person is under judgment about it or this person could be very much say that they're straight and they're really a part of the LGBTQ community Some people know some people don't and this person want to reveal something to you. All right. I went I, I worked that card. All right. Let's see. I've seen a lady. She's so bad She is bad bad and good. She only used one card gave you the whole reading 30 minute reading From one card. Like, you go ahead. Everybody got different gifts, right? Different gifts. All right They're all welcome, right? They come from supernatural the past their past was under judgment and it was sketchy. They've changed. They want you to know they changed and I love you, but I still feel residue. upside down you turn me people talked about them this is talking about somebody people talked about them like the friends that they thought they could trust or the people places that they w were at or the gathering maybe they were in toxic people places and things environments it wasn't healthy right it wasn't it wasn't conducive to them so they could have been in you know drug infested environments they could you know went to you know freak some um you know some orgies like i i hate to use those examples because it's some people that's their lifestyle so who am i to judge but i'm just using it symbolism right but but it, you know but people talked about them and now I, I have to say this to you and please don't get upset but it says that um their past is under judgment it was sketchy but they changed and they and they loved you now my past from the ancients told me this last year um before i lost my channel it, it we don't quant they don't quantify in time quantify time man does so their past could be just like just like that yesterday right just like that if yesterday don't ever come right so this very much be a part of their past um and it's sketchy and they're under judgment is because they could have been talked about you like a dog this man and woman you like or love because this is a cut cut crush whoever talked about you to their friends their family their co-workers whoever more than one right affiliations or whatever they talked about you 
and that is sketchy and that is foul that's some foul stuff and they have to own it and maybe they want to come back to you and tell you that they're sorry you know what i mean and they went out there the prodigal child learns the wicked ways of the world and then they come back and they want to be up under somebody that really love and really care about them really on their side my right foot is burning but this person feels really really bad because whatever they've done um is it, it, it i feel like it is going to hurt right i always say it ain't going to kill you but it's going to hurt you and i think it would hurt and if some of you already go well i already know she she talked about i know he talked about me but maybe not to the level of, of of the deception of the deceit they could have lied they could have slandered your name they could have laughed at you they could have joked on you they could talk about your you know your looks your hair your body your kids um you know they could have told some of your secrets yeah so this person um is very very sketchy i'm gonna give you one more card wow their pet their past was under judgment and people are judging them I have to read my title. Their parents was under was under judgment, um, and it's sketchy. They change. So even if they wanted to change from this woman and man that they were, they have a whole bunch of people know who they are. So you you ever you seen that? So if somebody get famous, they was like, oh, he be having them um what's the name parties? Oh um you know you always just pass his wife because that should be funny to me. And you be uh, talking to people or you know known or something happened, they go she was the biggest freak. <laughs> you know it's like that. It's like somewhere there's something that somebody is missing. But listen, God saves. Um you know he gives them grace we can't talk one 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 on the clock it's another twin flame pile i wonder there's all these twin flames so this person really really does love you but she or he is is have something that's under judgment that people keep them under judgment now it's cruel because i can't nobody judge you right but some people if you're biblical or you believe in certain religions or you know or maybe you you're your, your own worst enemy because you could be looking in and i could be just reading you you know what i'm saying you could judge yourself harshly like how do i tell you me how do i let geechee see or terry know that this is how this is i'm messing with this 35 36 year old woman you know what i'm saying or this woman or he or she or they got kids stuff like that that would crush me you know what i mean that, that would crush me i, I actually want, want don't want to deal with that <laughs> you get what i'm saying i i, I don't want to deal with that you know what i mean because i feel like at my age i'm 57 i'm a good woman and the men in the 50s with me you know what i'm saying we should be doing more things we should be having fun i'm not worrying about that type of shit right you know because i got menopause and shit yeah you know y'all know i like to keep it real and i'm not worried about but i, I have seen 30 year olds that look um they're aging very aggressively so i'm not jealous at all trust me you know what i'm saying um so but at the end of the day and i'm not that kind of person because i have millennials and i think my millennial all three of them are wonderful but at the end of the day i'm just using it for examples to know because i can use a whole bunch of examples so that would be a defining factor for me and i don't know what your thing is like you could have gave and gave to this man or woman they could have stole your money they could have used you they could have you know proposition you they could have put you in compromises positions um they could have used you as an opportunist they could have wanted you to feed their ego or or build them up while they go do their shit and it hurt and i keep stressing this for this whole year people have feelings and that shit hurts right and a lot of times people don't want to call them out on them but i feel like if they have people who know their past they call them out or they or they co-sign right or they keep pushing them and have them keep doing the same things that they're doing and they want to move away from that but they got these people that judge them very very harshly some remember they could have moved and relocated and some they took brought with them and they always remind them you was that chick you was that man all you talked about her all you talked about him okay she over here on her youtube channel calling us out because i know she calling us out but did she know that you was talking about us too i'm gonna see her i know <laughs> i know i know honey i know i feel i read the energy this ain't about me i can't do my own reading don't think you can get anything past here i got my son three billionaires i got a gift i don't give i don't need no psychics no seers i don't need no muslims and nobody's religion i don't need none of that None of that, because I, I believe in my own intuition, and I see things. And when I tell you I can walk in a room in a festival, and I can tell you, you can sit right by me and smile on my face, and I know that you talked about me. And it's cool, because I'm going to treat you, because I'm a woman, and I'm grown, and I'm going to treat you with that dignity and respect, because I want the same thing, because I'm not into all that, right? But this is, and I say things to say, because it's in the reading, that's the level of deceit that this person did with you collective, or you could be that kind of person. But I feel like you know, you just want this person to go ahead and, you know, be honest. I know, I know that you, you know, that you, maybe you cross dress or you desire the same sex or that you, you don't have to be none of that or that you gossip or that you talked about me or, or you still drinking or you're doing drugs or you know or you got some some kind of um, rap sheet or you wasn't this um great um, um woman and man that you said you was yeah this is that type of shit yeah anything else their past was under judgment and sketchy and, and, and i'm not bringing bragging this is my life shit this is my life 
You know, I was um, I picked a reading the other day, and she said, and um, these there's these people who overlook you because they're looking at. Let's just say I shop at Shein. They look, you know, and they look at that, but they don't look at, you know who you really are but then you don't get this person but you get another person who accepts you and their family is extraordinary rich and wealthy and well connected and it just really made sense with me because i keep i'm, I'm gonna be harping on low vibrational people low vibrational people cannot see um high vibrational people the only thing i tweeted this years ago the only thing negative people hate is positive people the only thing negative people hate is positive people and that's how you can sift through and and, and wean through who people are and i don't mean you cut them off you have to treat them with a long hand spoon. That's an old saying. You get what I'm saying? But this is what this man and woman had to learn. They had to go out there and they had to learn some hard lessons. They was around some toxic people, places and things. And they were toxic. They were toxic because they could have been the ringleaders of, of this. But they've changed. And w when they changed, maybe they changed because they met you and they loved you. Maybe you could be married or whatever in a relationship with this person and they changed. Or maybe they just went outside, out, out, out in the world and they learned a lot of spiritual lessons. And they, they started opening their eyes and they started seeing. And that's why they want to come back to you. Because it's a reconciliation card. Some of y'all could be in no contact. Or you could be in the same house, but you could be functioning. And you're not really at that level of, of, you know, of a healthy relationship. But they want you to know that, yeah, my past is under judgment it is and it was sketchy but i've changed because i love you and get your last card oh judgment how long was that sitting there oh my god i don't know how long we said this is harsh judgment and they could have judged you harsh and people judging them harsh but it also talks about getting out the past and moving forward letting that go i've been i've been pushing that letting go i don't own any of this but sometimes you know the energy tells you to push these things again so people can get it you know what i'm saying maybe their health they had a health scare maybe you had a health scare maybe they see you different maybe the very people that, that talked that you talked they talked about they're talking about them and calling them out on their shit and reminding them of the shit it's like don't remind me of shit terry i remember this i remember what you remember what you remember what high school <laughs> you give it is nothing that um you know don't use your imagination like she was doing it was nothing it's just people go maybe they didn't have a lot of money maybe they had food stamps i remember she had food stamps like, that. like they like to remind you of shit you know what i'm saying so this person is under harsh judgment look at your judgment card let me give you this they're under harsh judgment and they could have judged you harshly but the card talks about you know reinventing yourself letting go of that old um man or woman and becoming a new you know a new creature that's a temper surprise temperament card didn't come um and letting go of the past to pursue something else in the future and leave that in the past maybe they're walking away from talk to people places and things which is good surprise temperaments didn't come anything else they want you to know lovers that they chose low vibration people places and things lovers husbands wives boyfriend girlfriends crushes third party something like that and they didn't choose high vibrational husbands wives boyfriends girlfriends crushes people in the dm because this could be the exact same sometimes i talk fast and i was saying two women when i watched my thing but that's not what i mean i hope that people understand that to air is human sometimes i say the wrong number sometimes i say the wrong word but this, the energy is still there right so this person realizes that they have a choice in their life and they have to learn to choose wisely and they made a lot of bad choices whether it was vices, addictions, um, the way they communicated, the things that they did or whatever. But this man or woman realized now that in the direction that they're going, that they have a purpose. I feel like you feel like this person is your purpose or you could be the collective. This person feel like you're the, you're, you're in their uh, in alignment. They want to be in alignment with you and they have a purpose. But right now, before they could even decide on this decision, they got to have a conversation with you right because they was in a lot of romantic delusions and some of them could be in some committed relationships look at that but you're their twin flame you're their twin flame this is divinely ordered to be together this is this we're divinely ordered to be together but you got to choose wisely you're going to choose low vibration you know what i'm saying this is two reconciliation cards too i don't want to miss that so for people who are looking like is this man or woman going to call me get in contact with me or are they yearning or do i have this telepathic thing or are we being pulled toward each other am i having dreams am i feeling and thinking what i'm thinking are they feeling and thinking at the same time yeah probably right but at the end of the day she or he has to make this decision on which way and direction they're going to go and this is also they want me to tell you the meaning of the card so it's, it's a lot of meanings right but it's just, this is a six of chalice six of cups emotions this person knows that they can't make up to you the way they normally do they have five more 
cups to try. So before I like to use me example, we're going to go eat. That would get it all the time. We're going to eat. We're going to go eat. I'm smiling, right? But now I'm on a specific diet because I had a cancer scare. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I started back strictly with my daughter Friday. I mean, that's another story. So now they know that, they, that eating ain't going to work. The flowers and gifts and trips ain't going to work. Maybe they realize I got to change some behaviors. Maybe I got to let some people go. Whatever your thing is, but they realize they got to really put some work in. And this is really hard for them. They're contemplating, right? For a minute they feel fearful. For a minute they feel courageous. Um, they're contemplating on what's the next step. They're very indecisive. I don't want to be in this energy. They, they got to have a decision and they're flip-flopping. They don't know what to do. They're scared, right? But they know they got to take a leap of faith and they know they got to keep the third party out because they feel like this is destiny. It's destiny for us to be together. And although my past is sketchy and maybe I played a part in it or I made some bad choices, we still have to have this conversation. I got to keep the third party out. This talks about um, putting you in competition, outside interferences and shit like that. So she or he knows what they need to do right they know what they need to do because this is my six of cups this is my twin flame there's a lot of love here but there was a lot of mistakes a lot of misunderstanding a lot of vague communication a lot of betrayal lies romantic illusions this man or woman could have had a lot of different um um you know um people a lot of different people in it a lot of different lovers and um um you know choices and you know a lot of fantasy and a lot of uh, deception and stuff yeah ah, i don't want to be that person <laughs> let me get your last card yeah person yeah did i do these yeah yeah their past was sketchy oh no i didn't their past was sketchy and under judgment i mean their past is under judgment we got judgment and they change and they love you so what else do you want them to know they want you to know i've seen it they they want to give and take before they had hidden agendas it wasn't a harmonious balance they were users takers whatever they were giving to other people and now and they were looking out for their own self you know they wanted you to buy their love or they were buying love from other people and allegiance and all that type of shit they were dangling you breadcrumbing you using you taking advantage and it could be your husband wife boyfriend girlfriend don't matter but they weren't invested it wasn't a given it wasn't an even exchange right it was an 80 20 um it wasn't given and take it was a lot of power struggles it wasn't balanced and they want they want you to know you know what i'm saying they weren't who they said they were look at that he looked like um cary grant cary grant's fine to me, somebody could be from the UK. He looks like a doctor. Somebody could be a doctor. You could like somebody in the health field. Somebody could be a uh, lawnmower. Somebody could be in a lawnmower business. Somebody could be a homeowner. Somebody might be a vegan. Don't eat meat because I see meat on me. Yeah. So they wanted my leg to sleep. If I cut it off. Their past was under judgment and sketchy. They was they weren't who they said it was. They they didn't do what they they didn't do right by you. Seven of Swords, did y'all see that? So Seven of Swords is not a good card. When I first learned that, when I did uh, learn in three, I used to think it was really good because it was like a, a strategic, methodical um, master at manipulation. Consider myself to be uh, right. So I looked at it on the intelligence side, but then when you realize it has deception and lies and betrayals and cheating and theft and sabotage, you got to pay attention to the red flags and this person's um, agenda wasn't good. So this is this this is because this would probably be the last card. So this is what this person want to tell you um, that you know, and it came upside down that I don't want to be that chick anymore. I don't want to be that man anymore because I love you. And it said they've changed, right? And even if they have residue, you know, maybe they see the residue, maybe they want to kick out the top to people places and things now maybe they want to be become this better woman and better man for their self and for you but there was a lot of deception and, and and betrayal and only you know what that is that's funny that came upside down they go to temperament they go to temperament i was looking at it. they go to they, they they want to change they want more balance they want more um cooperation they want to co compromise right they want to um you know they want to what they say Get close to your enemy to understand them. I was channeling these. Okay, so they might be shit starting to get revealed. Maybe they thought you were their enemy when you end up loving them, supporting them, being their friend. And the people who are very close to them, maybe they're starting to see that they're their real enemy. They could be losing contracts and jobs and shit. Shit might not be working out. They could be going through a lot of karma. So at the end of the day, they feel like I have to change. Somebody could be sick. 
then maybe they feel like they have to change. You know what I mean? Maybe you were sick, they wasn't there for you, and then they, now they sick, or somebody's sick, or their children, or something's sick. That's because this is a shot here. Something happened that woke this man or woman up, and a, a, a metal goes through extreme pressure, right? And I always say millions and millennial years, right? Before it become a tiny little diamond. So this man or woman realized that they needed to let go of that old self, that robate um, mind. The Bible talks about the robate mind, cardinal. Um, that, that cardinal flesh and they was operating out the flesh, the materialism, what people thought, um, you know, um, you know, superficial shit, materialistic stuff, ego, um, narcissistic tendencies, that ego is something else. Uh, I lost my channel, remember I did that. But they realized that they need more balance, they need more cooperation, more compromise. You could be drawn to the first one, I just um, lo um, uh, unloaded, and now I need some changes. Now, I, I, I have to say in this defense, because this came upside down, I don't think they want to be deceptive anymore. I don't think they want to betray, I don't think he or she wants to have that kind of um, image and I, I feel like they have it even if it's a bad boy bad girl image players or something like that or extremely materialistic superficial users or whatever right you know what I mean liars hypo hypocrites I could be here all day um, you know what I'm saying or wasn't so nice to you but nice to everybody else you ever see that like if you got kids and he go be with her kids but didn't treat your kids right or you know what I'm saying or he calling texting her or him and they only give you about 10 minutes you know what I'm saying you get what I'm saying make a long story short but this person realized she realized and he realized that they needed to change from that old flesh um, and become somebody new and that's the nice thing about the temperaments and I'm trying to understand why you keep paying attention to the needle somebody could be sick right maybe they got an STD or something like that got somebody pregnant and then they got somebody crazy see that person's psychotic right maybe somebody need to be on some medication my right foot is burning maybe they suffer from some depression or bipolar or something like that that they're dealing with and maybe they just want to move away from all bipolar type of energy environments up and down flip floppy users gossip talking about it, nothing high um no nothing uh, everything is what this person did did you see their tarot card reading today what did they have on um, what you doing they ain't talking about no rockets going to um you know out of space no um you know mathematical equations um across the world you know what's going on in the world or no politics or you know or something really deep or philosophical no they just talk about surface shit you know what i'm saying you know she here you know he here gonna be some stories oh shit gonna get crumped see i can't do low vibrational people i'm sorry that's gonna be my whole thing and if y'all don't like it y'all can exit thank you and this is what this person is learning that they were around low vibrational people maybe they thought that that was high vibration until they start realizing that people know how to communicate and when they don't i love those self-taught people I have so many self-taught people on twitter we have some really really great informative um um conversations because i didn't always have degrees because i feel like it's only you're only as smart as the next textbook i have common sense i'm highly intelligent i don't i don't need to sell myself i know who i am and i feel like because they know how to go and they go research and they access material and they empower themselves my right foot is burning and so on this journey as this um as that knights of cups was out there they were learning they were learning they were observing and although they were quiet they see that little sneak shit that their friends and their family do or that little envy or that jealous and that insecure they see it they don't want to say it you know why they can't say it because they were they was a part of that yeah that was that was good make sure you get that message they was a part of that but now they want to move away from that let's get this title again the, their past was under judgment and it's under judgment by the very people that they try to dog you with or or they had a life way before you and people knew who this chick was or who this man was but they changed a lot they could betray themselves to be so much bigger than life and they wasn't they was just this this under judgment for some shit that they did right and i don't i'm not judging i'm just saying anything else this person might want to go on a vacation with you you know road trip or something like that um their past was under judgment and sketchy they changed and they love you your last cards what, what else do they want them to know what, what am i trying to see yeah they, they could be very fantasy focused they could get seduct um seduced very very easy they could be very dreamy type person all in this fantasy reality suspended reality type shit um yeah and maybe that's what they want to tell you maybe they frequent some stuff or they or they had to get those needs met and it, it compromised you and they, they weren't thinking about you they were very selfish and self-centered anything else yeah i feel like they want to date you get to know you all over again brother your husband wife boyfriend or girlfriend somebody you know you met and you really didn't get you know get to have that chance 28 28 is on the clock i don't know what that means i've drawn to that anything else their past is under judgment it was sketchy and they changed for you yeah, they got easily tempted. I said that. They got the fantasy, the temptation, the lust, the sex. It's all up under the same thing, right? That's what they went out there for. They wanted to take care of their whatever their needs were. So it, it doesn't have to be sexual. It could be I'm chasing money. I'm you know I'm, I'm chasing money or I'm chasing ambition. Or I'm chasing fame or hype or I'm chasing somebody to feed my ego because they could all be poor 
on, on skid row, but there's that one man or that one woman when, you know, got to control everything, everything got to be the cold, tell people what to do, treat people like shit, because they need something, some, some dysfunction, um, you know, that they didn't deal with, some healing, you get what I'm saying, so that whatever they was, it was a fantasy, it was very seductive, it was some temptation, and it wasn't a reality, and they had to learn their lesson, and, and people could have called them out on their shit, or people knew them, because they was out there in the streets with them, right, or at home, or doing the same thing, right, um, their past was under judgment, sketchy, they change and they love and, and they love you. Let's see your last card. Anything else? Proposal. They could have went and very much proposed somebody, committed to somebody, or be married to somebody else, or really told somebody that this that we're gonna be together. Sorry. And that's something in their past, and it's under judgment. And under that judgment, where that girl, that man gonna say, that woman, that man gonna say, he, he she or she with me. You know what I mean? They told me the same thing, or they did this, or they told me they didn't want you. So this is some judgment that they're under, right? And it's sketchy. So if this man or woman come back to you and they not true blue, you know, that could be a man or woman they married to, engaged to, or commitment. Just symbolism, you know, something that's saying that we're together. You know what I'm saying? It's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt you. And they're under judgment because other people be like, you with her. You with him. Or you promised them that. Or you said this, right? Yeah, so they, they yeah. And I just did want a conversation between you two need to be had. You could have been drawn to that collective. And maybe you and this person needs to have a conversation. Let me get your last card. Anything else you want them to know? They Maybe they come off of bravado, a lot of money. And they live from check to check like everybody else. Or they don't got as much as they say. Or maybe they act like they got more than you. And you could have a nest egg or, um, or money in the bank. You know, you got to have a little savings. You get what I'm saying? But then I see dirty nails and secrets. So they got some secrets, right? They got, I think they got some heavy, low down, dirty secrets. Now, it depends on what you consider low down dirty. You get what I'm saying? It could be something as um, they took advantage of somebody and they took, and went with a man or woman for their money. And somebody else would be like, okay. You know what I'm saying? It could be incarcerated, you know, um, you know, something really tragic happened and I was incarcerated. It could be incarcerated, you know, I conned somebody or, you know, I was selling drugs, something like that, where somebody be like, okay, you know what I'm saying? You, you, so it, there's something or some kind of secret, you know, I got another wife, I got another husband, or, you know, I did this or I did that, or I said this or said something about you or did something. You get what I'm saying? Or I sabotaged you, or I talked about you, or I lied, you know? So when I see dirty nails, the nails are dirty. So thank God it led with the um, Knights of Cups. Because I, I was going to say, this person don't have no re remorse. I think this man and woman went out there and learned the hard way, honey. And other people gave it to them. Um, they friends, family, and co-workers shit gave it to them. Everybody giving it back to them. But the one thing I'm channeling for this energy, they're very, very good at masquerading like they don't, they, they didn't pick shit up. They picked everything up. They watch everybody. Like if they overlooked you or picked somebody else over you or stay with their husband and wife and they're not the twin flame and they're not meant to be or their friends and family and stuff. And if they talking about you, collective, this man or this woman, it, it hurts them on the inside. But they set them up like that. So I'm not mad at them. They set them up. They gave them privilege. They allowed them to come in and be intrusive and to um and to um you know and, and they all play these games together, right? But at the end of the day, when we talk about karma, nobody's innocent. So the people that was intentionally hurt you and was a part of, they get theirs too, right? Because that's the that's what karma is. Yeah. But that's another story. Their past was under judgment and sketchy, and they change. But they they say they change because they love you. Let me get your last card. I could be here all day with these. But they feel trapped. High vibration of your twin flame. High, they feel trapped because people, oh, this person love you. Oh, y'all could be long distance with this person. It's the world card. They want to close cycles. They're elevating. They done got some kind of an awakening. Oh, I said that. I said if they knew, if they are waking up, I didn't use those words. They're not letting people know. Like people might not know how much this woman and man love you because they played a part in their own demise in the relationship with you. But they love you. Their cycles closing in their life. They feel it. They know it. They're elevating. Maybe they're reading. Maybe they're talking to higher, um, 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 you know vibration type men and women at the park at work co-workers they're getting around different people maybe they're observing you maybe you're teaching them you know y'all could be long distance too when you have the world or something like that yeah they want to they learn but they scared to tell somebody right yeah because look at he looking i've never seen my um king of cups scared they could have been emotionally i had outbursts been very violent very verbally aggressive now their emotions is three threes all threes on the clock 
um, I forgot the other numbers. Oh, you, I know you have twin flame. Now they, now they're, now their emotions, they gather their emotions. They're not holding grudges anymore. They're not being vindictive. They're not storming. They're seeing. Cause once them emotions get stabilized, not up and down. And I use bipolar, even though it's clinical. Um, but this is not clinical, so I'm just using it as in fun. Up and down mood swings. One minute you're nice, one minute you're not. Doctor Jekyll is high. Now they're emotionally sound. Now, now they can see the bigger picture. They can see the part that they play in this demise, but they trap. They trap with karmics, friends, family. They trap themselves, though. Don't feel sorry for this woman. Don't feel sorry for this man. My whole energy is they made their bed, now they have to lie in it. And this is when they have to put on their big girl and um, 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 panties and the big um, guy briefs on. And some of them wear panties and some of them wear briefs. It's up, it's up to you. But at the end of the day, they feel very, very trapped, right? And it says, um, my past was, and they feel trapped about their past. Past. I can't name everything, but um, how's my past going to affect, affect you when you really know who I really am as a man or a woman? They feel trapped. At the end of the day, they end it. Twin flame, they know that you're very high vibrational and they have to meet up to this level. And you have this deep telepathic connection that they can't deny. As a woman and man, they can't deny. And you, you elevate them so much. The world card come in. When the world card come in, it's good. It's a good omen. And and so I would think that this man or woman, because it's destiny, it's fated for y'all to be together. But that don't mean you, you know, nobody has a gun to your head. You don't have to have a sit down or or you don't have to work on your husband, wife, your relationship. Or you don't have to give a crush or somebody in your DM, a, you know, a chance or apologize or something you, you're grown you can do what you want but at the end of the day what i'm saying is that you have the universe jesus all the spirit of god's answers maybe you have somebody to pass and went on and they're saying that this man man woman woman man woman is for you and their high vibration and that's the direction that you need to go and you're trapped he's not trapped he's mentally trapped that plastic can come off take your hands open off take the plastic off your head you're not binded you get what i'm saying but you you if you're looking and you could be mentally binded because you care about what other people say and you made a lot of bad decisions in your life and you could be under judgment and if you're looking in and you wonder why this man or woman hasn't rushed towards you it's because they're keeping themselves binded mentally right and once they free themselves from that and look i did it i did it i was out there prostituting i talked about your mama yes i um i slandered your name um yes i got two and three husbands yes i'm on the down low yes i was neglectful yes i got a charge and then neglecting my kids just own your shit and let it go if you have to go to church if you need forgiveness whatever you need and move into the future and let it go and don't allow people to have that held over your head that's who i used to be and this is who i am now and if this man or woman doesn't like it for people looking in and this happened to be you under judgment then so be it but have this honest conversation and start with a character and integrity and then for you collective I, I can't tell you how to go about it with this man or woman when y'all have this conversation or things that you already know but they gonna maybe they're gonna own up to or maybe they're gonna reveal to you all i can say is that you know through grace and compassion maybe tap into your feminine energy side right like i i stay in my feminine um energy side because i try to be nice and kind right but when i have to pull up and get into my masculine energy side to be more aggressive i do it when it's needed i'm not trying to i'm not trying to make my life harder than what it is right later